Hello everybody and welcome back to Rapture where we're about to head into the farmer's market. Attention. A new curfew will be enacted mm. on Thursday. Citizens it's found basically in going to be the Bioshock Square. equivalent of reading The Guardian. And I'm sure nothing horrible will happen there whatsoever. After all, it's all just been fun and games so far. Yeah. Normal. There is a little sister in this level. As far as I remember, this is like a sort of mini level. So, it's one enzyme sample. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur, but I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. I do love those, like, trees just in single contained things. Very cool. Our hand on 
the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there, next to mine. This was a quick hack. We can do a good uh Judge me! I'll kill you! Well, you can soften up the big daddy. Take that hit, aren't I? Yep. No. Well, that was a quick no. rescue. No, no. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Lost that one already. Fine. I don't have the pieces to do it. That's a bit crap. 
Yep, I, that's, that's, I just don't have the pieces to do it. That's a bit shit. Oh well, fine. What? Why did it cause more damage a second time? Oh. oh well. What's in here? the gene upgrades I think. Well, I'm definitely going to at least swap those. Uh-huh. 
Let's hmm. let's run to the beginning. Evening two. Lots of frag grenades about, so I should probably actually use them. Uh, there's no way through that. Well, this is a bit annoying, isn't it, guys? That's three in a row where I, I feel like there's nothing much I could have done. I definitely couldn't do anything with that one. Uh, and again, I'm completely blocked. That's, uh, that's pretty annoying, actually. Let's try that once more. Yeah, I, I have to... Oh, I'm completely blocked again. Completely blocked. Uh, okay. That's pretty weird. Let's try this one. now. Getting a bit frustrated, guys. Don't mind telling you. Okay. So unless I get the right one right now, there's no too not quick enough. There's nothing I can do about it. Um What? <laughs> what? Right, well I'm I'm not gonna hack anything then. <laughs> Cause I'm it's just killing me. That's really weird. Okay. That's really weird. Right, I, I'm going to hack this one more time because this is pretty annoying. So that can go there. No, completely blocked again. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about this. There's literally nothing I can do. It's com the way's completely blocked. Do I need to change my uh, uh, tonics to reduce the alarms and the overloads, or am, am I just not going to be able to get any further with these? That's uh, that's crap. That is crap. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Well, that guy hasn't got long to live. Well, that's happening. Uh, reduce difficulty, reduce flow speed, hacking saves and combo locks, but I tend to be using the things on them. Okay, so one fewer alarm and one fewer overload. One, two fewer overloads. Let's go for one fewer alarm and one fewer overload there. Reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, bots and cameras. Turrets, bots, and cameras tend to be easy, and I don't really know what difficulty means in this sense. But fine, we'll we'll go with that for now. You can't compete with me, you Forsaken me. <gasps> I'll find you shall know I am the Lord. <laughs>
hack it for now. But quite enough of hacking this particular episode, I think. I'll just make a hack tool. This looks perfectly safe. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul-smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. It was a rather unpleasant aspect of her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. Handy. Not right now, though. What is that ticking noise? Don't like it. The Little Sisters Orphanage. In troubled times, give your little girl the life that she deserves. Boarding and education free of charge. After all, children are the future of capture. back of here. Much more freely. Mm. 
Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Well, that's grim. is the worst French accent I've ever heard in my entire life. And I've been to France. Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? Whoop! Come here! Horrible bees! I'd actually forgotten about the, uh... Ah! Yeah, that was stupid. I'd forgotten about the bee plasmid. Which is odd, because I think it was my favourite one in the entire game. Uh, insect swarm. Yes, please. And I think that they won't affect me if I have insects one. And let's replace... Oh god, it's difficult. Um, let's actually rep replace Winter Blast because it, it's kind of a crowd control one, so... We might not need Winter Blast. Insects against groups of enemies. Attack lots of enemies at the same time. What else can we get with 60? Uh, human Inferno, that was quite nice. Extra nutrition. There's all these ones for ones, but they all seem like it's going to waste Adam in the end if I if I take them, because I'll just be left with a load left over. Um, but that looks really nice. I know. We'll save it for now. We'll save it for now. There we go. Insect swarm.
How long do we actually have in there? Quite a bit longer than I just spent, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, way longer. Right through that, oh well. if I've collected them all.
Let me out, let me out. I'm going from in here. There we go, I think uh, that incredible amount of B action should uh, leave us for this episode. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll cut off there and I'll see you next time for more Bioshock. Actually, before I go, the hacking was annoying, wasn't it? The hacking was annoying. That's a bit of a design flaw if um, it's possible for things to just not be hacked at all. So there's no way out of this that other than for me to take damage. Which is a bit annoying when all I've done is clicked on trying to hack something. So that was a bit annoying. The section with the bees also... Yeah, I had to just go in there too many times. It's just a bit repetitive. And it's it's all symptomatic as part of... It's really obvious that the ideas in Bioshock take precedence. So, in other words, they're kind of there... Basically, the team has gone, sat down and gone, hey, this is a really neat idea, let's build mechanics around it without really thinking about the mechanics first or thinking about how the mechanics will affect the player or the player's experience. So that's kind of a weakness of the game. That's interesting. We'll see if that uh, develops more as we go on. And now I will actually leave this episode here. So I've been the bastard. This has been Bioshock. I'll see you next time. <laughs>